I accept not because of the honor of succeeding a great man, but out of a deep sense of duty and responsibility to use whatever talents and abilities I have to help black people in America achieve their rightful and just place in this society and to help white America to understand that democracy, justice, and equality are not reserved for white folks only, but must be shared by all people without regard to race, religion, sex, or national origin. I accept there appears to be an indifference uh, on the part of the administration as regards to, as regard, as relates to the problems and plight of, of blacks. I, I do think that there is an opportunity to convince this administration that it can do what it ought to do in regards to the problems as the black people are confronted with. Lose Vernon Jordan's services because a man of his very special talents is indeed rare. Morris Abram, Jim Lennon, Louis Martin, Harold Sims. Man, more often than not, does not choose, create, or arrange life's circumstances to suit himself. Indeed, the circumstances that bring us here today had their beginning in a sad and tragic event. And surely we would all prefer that there would have been the continuing presence and leadership of Whitney Moore Young, Jr. But Whitney Young is gone, and this nation is not likely soon again to be blessed with a man of his unique qualities of leadership, ability, and greatness in the cause of equal opportunity in America. Whitney Young has bequeathed a rich legacy of precept and example, courage and intellect, principle and dedication, a game plan and strategy for eradicating the evil and practice of racism in America, and a strong, viable, interracial organization to help make this nation what it can and should be a republic of equals. The man then lives on. On the recommendation post, mindful that I am living No man can enter lightly upon the task of carrying the mission to which Whitney Young brought such unique wisdom, effectiveness, and grace. At a time when there is ominous and potentially explosive rise in unemployment in our northern and southern ghettos, the blacks, other minorities, and the poor see increasing signs of indifference to their plight. The men and women of the Urban League are once again challenged to respond with the kind of pragmatic and creative programs for change which the nation has come to expect from this organization. Over in the years ahead, the League will continue to seek those goals so clearly and eloquently enunciated by Whitney Young with the same deep resolve of the past until the day when all God's children walk together as brothers. I pledge myself to use whatever abilities I have, whatever skills I have developed to hasten that day. Thank you very much. I, we now uh, my approach will be my approach. And uh, whatever, uh, 
However, that may be interpreted in terms of whether it's moderate or, or radical or conservative. That's not for me to judge. It is for the Urban League Board, the Urban League constituency, and black people and white people generally to, 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 to judge what kind of leadership that will be. I am committed to, to serve the Urban League and to, to serve its constituency and thereby serve black people in the interest of gaining for them those things that clearly blacks do not have in this country. Mr. Young, prior to his uh, death, was expressing sentiments about the Nixon administration, which were not at all complimentary. Uh, what is your position as far as what the Nixon administration has done or not done in the field of civil rights? Well, my position on that is, is, is no different from, from that of blacks generally in the country. And I think that your, your role as the executive director, Mr. Mr. Young played a particular kind of leadership role. He had a uh, particular modus operandi. Uh, do you see uh, at the Southern Regional Council, that was a tax-exempt, nonpartisan project.